Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a Crazy A Town A Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm Ross. I'm here with T and T Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Unfortunately, we're playing Madden 21 for fun. Oh, dude, it's the best fun ever. It's so fun. Dude. It's the desk. Why is that guy? Whoa! Yeah, I've never seen that before. <laughs> he, him, Tarzan, you, Jane. Right. Uh, we're playing the Desperados. We have uh, a mix between Hannibal Lecter and a weird peeping Tom as our coach. Some, I, I like these. I've never really noticed like the images of these uh, guys like doing these epic things in the background. Yeah, dude, they're like, they're super good. Oh, dude, what's on his mind? Sex. <laughs> I think that's what's on your mind. <laughs> that's on everybody's mind, bro. It's not on my mind. Not right now. Maybe in about ten seconds. <laughs> there like, oh. it is. Oh, there it is. Now there it's, yeah, now now it is. it's back. <laughs> <laughs> hello sex my old friend yeah hello coitus my old friend i love like calling things sing. words that are like the most odd sounding like calling sex coitus oh speaking i've just coited his legs <laughs> Um, I mean, uh, yeah, but I've heard you do that probably about fifteen trillion times. Yeah, dude, I love saying, I love calling things I, words that are not the normal word for it. I do too. I love it, dude. It, and like when somebody meets you for the first time, they're like, "What the hell did he just say?" You know, like I said coitus, bro. Yeah, I don't know. It's like if you punch me in the stomach a hundred times, I'm just gonna be like, "Oh, it's a punch." You know. <laughs> I mean, like, we've known each other long enough that it doesn't phase exactly. us. Exactly. Like, I, I mean, like, I could literally, you've heard me say over the 20 years I've known you, the, some of the most ridiculous Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff that does, you're like, I don't even know what that means. Anti-Semitic stuff. Oh, just I <laughs> definitely no racism. You're the one talking all sorts of hate speech. I hear you no, in there. No, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Me? I like that. I like that, dude. I like that. <laughs> you think I can't hear you in there talking to everybody on the internet? I actually got confused. I was like, what, really? Oh, no. You're like, wait, did he hear me? He's <laughs> effing with me, dude. I like that. <laughs> you, you keep that up. Um, <laughs> I'll try. What else? I was just going to say something, too. No, um, yeah, but, you know, like, me and Jonas, it's like, it's like uh, the first the first hit's free, and then, like, we, we've been doing each other's, like, man drugs, or, like, wow. homie drugs. That sounds... Like, you're a drug to me, all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I am addicted to you. Oh, wow. That's but hot. it's like the same amount won't get me to where I need to go. This is not us having a moment either. <laughs> I feel you. I get what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So, you know, you got to you gotta up the ante you a little bit. You still can't sleep in my bed. <laughs> no matter yeah. how Try saying coitus with nipple rings in. We'll see if that works for me. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm... Go 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 to, go to get a COVID piercing. A COVID piercing. And then, a COVID piercing? What does that even mean? Getting a piercing while COVID's happening. A COVID piercing? So anything. So what if you're going to the grocery store? You gotta you're go going COVID shopping? Yeah, yep. Jonas, it doesn't work that way. It does too, dude. It does, it does it's everywhere. It does not work that way. I'm afraid it doesn't. You can't call everything that doesn't happen within f these four walls COVID. <laughs> yes, I can. That's what America's all about. No, dude. you're just gonna go out to your car and get your, your, your go in your COVID car. Go get my COVID gas from a COVID <laughs> gas station. Watch the COVID attendant give me COVID change back. You don't bring any COVID leaves through the front door. Yeah, dude, all those COVID leaves stuck to my COVID shoes. <laughs> oh, close the door. You're letting all the COVID air <laughs> <Yeah>. in. <laughs> Don't use that microwave. Somebody put COVID in there. <laughs> nah, I don't trust that. She brought a COVID sandwich from the COVID McDonald's and put it in the... <laughs> I was talking to a friend and they're like, my neighbor went to a went to a wedding with like 200 people and told me she brought me home a Chick-fil-A sandwich. And I was like, you can keep that COVID sandwich. <laughs> 150 people coughing right? all over it. <laughs> 150 people coughing. <laughs> Oh, they all gathered around the sandwich. <laughs> They're like, we're going to take this home to you. Let's cough all over it first. Wow. Yeah, dude, but I ain't trying to have food from a large gathering right now. 
Like, like if you go to like the Grand Buffet. I'm not gonna lie, Jonas. Like 150 people coughing on a sandwich would have been like an awesome dare. I'd be like, dude, how much money would it take for you to eat a sandwich that like 150 people coughed on? Now it's just like I don't even know. Like it's so. It's, it's like Russian roulette at it's this point. So much of a no right now. <laughs> right? Like how much would it cost? You're like none. Yeah. They're like I'm good. But we'll give. You- no, literally it would be nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nothing you could give me would make me want to. Yeah. Do that. And I'm not like. Uh, I'm not like uh, trying to say it's like I think this COVID thing is like the the worst thing ever. It's pretty bad. Yeah. But, right, dude. And uh, you know. <laughs> I just don't. I don't want to catch it. Yeah, I'm not going to go out of my way to put myself in a position. Yeah, yeah. It's like the aunties race. Well, it's it's funny because people have, people talk about like people who don't go a lot of places are like afraid. I'm like, dude, I'm not afraid. I'm just not putting myself in a position to catch it. Like, yeah. like if I could stay at home and be guaranteed to not catch it or go to a bar. I'm going to stay at home. You're going to get an interception. Yeah, going to get a beer is not worth potentially <laughs> catching it, dude, to me. And that's a, my risk profile, dude. Get a COVID beer? Yeah, dude, they inject it. They psh- I'm trash at this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all right, man. Talking, I'm all hyped up. <clears throat> oh, I mean, it's definitely your first game in how long? Oh, it's been a while, dude. Okay, so there it's you like go. It's like a Creed song. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's, it's warming up, you know? You got to warm uh, up a I've little bit. I've also had like seven drop passes so far where I've hit the guys in the hands and then they don't catch the ball. So that makes it. Mm, timing. I'll, time. I'll, I'll show you a good time. I'm coming back, dude. I'm going to make them pay. Oh, man, I just took a sip of my beverage. Yeah, dude. Non-alcoholic because, you know, not today, Satan. I went and bought whiskey yesterday. Did you? I saw I had that. Whiskey. I saw that. Yeah, dude, it made me feel what good. What do you... <laughs> Drowned all my is that, sorrows. Is that your subtle way of trying to get me inebriated? Yeah, dude. <laughs> do you want to get drunk? <laughs> I'm not drinking, but you can get drunk. <laughs> I got drunk yesterday. I know, dude. No. I... <laughs> <laughs> Honesty. I didn't. I didn't get drunk to be honest. I had three glasses. That's enough, man. I, I felt good, dude. That's enough. You're an adult. You're allowed to have an adult libation. Yeah, yeah dude. At I your leisure. Three whiskeys on the rocks, dude. Yeah, man. It's your leisure time. You can do with it as you will, sir. Yeah, dude. It was nice. I uh, I did a lot of did a lot of me things yesterday. Like ate pizza and took a nap. I do. I have had the ball bounce off these dudes' hands so many times this game. <laughs> ate pizza and took a nap, man. Yeah, dude. I'm drinking. Whiskey, hey, it's great. Hey, I ate some candy. That. Yeah, that's pretty. Hey, that's pretty good. That's very similar to what I did with with my day as well. Nice. I ate pizza and took a nap too. Hell yeah, dude! Great minds think alike. Dude, it was good. I slept so hard I woke up with drool on my face. Uh, okay, well, that's you know we're getting a little personal. How's no, that personal, dude? That's a good nap. Dude. I don't want to know how how the drool get there. Cause I was sleeping so hard, I drooled. You drool in your sleep? Only when you sleep hard, dude. You know what they say about people who drool in their sleep? I've only done it a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately go into defensive mode. Quit, quit making me out to be a bad guy, dude. No, I dude. Know my drool was found. Just saying, dude. You know what they say about people who drool in their sleep? Have you bro. ever? Uh, like legitly, I don't, I don't, I don't. I didn't drool a lot. I just had drool on my face. But I'm just have saying. you ever like been with a chick and like you woke up and like her pool, her pillow was just like. Have I ever been with a chick that drools in her sleep? Is what like you're excessively, asking. where you wake up and you're like, oh, oh, you just just got the whole pillow wet. You got a whole big old candy corn crush of drool neck. I'm gonna have to say, I don't think so. But that is not to say that it has not happened. Yeah. But I don't think so. I can't score it. I'm not gonna feel good, I'm, gonna I'm not even going to talk about drooling in your sleep because that's just weird. Like, who, who, <laughs> no, I mean, not drooling in your sleep is weird. It's a weird subject to talk about. Yeah, I was just saying I had a good nap, dude. That's awesome. Because you don't know about the, 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 the tale, Jonas. The tale? The, there's a tale. About, about dro- people who drool well, in their sleep. Let's, let's call it the drool walkers. Let's get going, dude. We got half a game to tell the story. All right. So the drool is really the demon inside of these people trying to escape at night. 
Is that oh is that really is that legit like a story? Oh man. So yeah, you gotta that. watch out, Jodas, cause you're drooling demons. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You know it is was this one time I did have like a fingernail scratch on the outside of my cheek, dude. Yeah. Like I was like, where'd that come from? I've been around a woman at all lately, you know? Yeah. I've been I've been celibate for a long time. Here's a question, what'd that drool taste like? Oh, dude. Do you remember the flavor? Is it, is it the demon seed? If it tasted like brimstone, perhaps. <laughs> oh, my God. It was hellfire. Brimstone. <laughs> yeah. In liquid form on my face. A little sulfuric. Dude, did Satan just the face on my face, dude? <laughs> it might have. Was it blood, Jonas? Are you bleeding from the mouth now? Oh, dude. I didn't check the color. I just wiped it off. I had on a black shirt. I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> you ever all right, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I guess I, I can't argue those facts. <laughs> You've never... What the hell? Okay, guys, come on, guys, calm down. They're, they want my balls, dude. Jonas, you've ne you never encountered a demon in your sleep. I'm no, not that, I've, not that I'm aware of, dude. No? No, dude. Like, I have, like, a memory of, like, seeing something, like, hovering over my bed. <laughs> Is that or like, like a night terror? Yeah, I think it was like sleep paralysis. I was young when this happened though. And it was like this dark figure, it was like shadowy, it was like looming over like the head of my bed. Yeah, and you can't and you can't move? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that before. Yeah. That happened like one time in my entire Imagine life. I feel like you woke up every night to that. Uh I yeah, that would not be cool. <laughs> I would, yeah, uh, that would not be cool. I, yeah, like yeah. all the phrases that you put in there. That's about how I would feel about it as yeah. well. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, nah, nah. Yeah, I don't need to see demons every night. I'm good. Yeah, dude. I had a friend who believed uh, very strongly that apparitions were a real occurrence, though. So. Oh, God. So he was a firm believer in ghosts. He told me a multitude of stories about how doors would open or drawers would cl drawers would close or like tapping at night. And I was like, my dude, gravity. Yeah, dude. I I don't know how I feel about that stuff because there's usually an explanation for why. Oh God, he just rammed me. Um. So you, you're not a believer. I'm agnostic. Whoa. About ghosts, dude. Really? Yeah, dude. Somebody showed me proof, I believe, probably. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, but the, the agnostic is you believe that there's something out there, but I don't know what it is. No, it's like you just, I, there's no firm proof, man. So that, it's like, yeah, it's like you, it's like. No, I, you I, believe I, that something is out there is agnostic. You're just not sure. No, but you need proof. That's the agnostic. I mean, that is what it would take to change. That's what it would take to sway an agnostic's ideal. But like agnostic is, you believe something yeah, is I mean, there. I mean, so be a believer believes that there's that it's there. A disbeliever doesn't believe that it's there. And an agnostic is like dead and center. They believe there's something. They're just not sure it's either what these extremes are. Yeah, I think that's probably true. That's kind of how I feel about like God, aliens, and ghosts, dude. Definitely aliens. <laughs> I can 100% believe I'm agnostic on, on aliens. Probably, actually, I probably lean more on the believer side, to be honest. Because I, like, I there's aliens, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> they're, they're just out there. I just haven't seen them. I don't need proof. Yeah. Well, I believe then, like, that okay. it exists. And, I mean, does, for you, does alien count as, like, actual life somewhere else? Or, like, an actual sentient being that can, like, uh, can you... Like, no. like, is a particle an alien to you, or is a, or does it have to be like a being of if some it, sort? If it, well, I want to say if it respirates, but God knows how they like move nutrients or whatever. Um, uh, I, I, I feel like, yeah, I guess you know that's kind of weird. It does have to take like a certain form of right. like, like if it's just like, oh, a spe this speck right here is life. It's an alien, or it looks. I mean, it doesn't have to look like a human, but something that can like. But see, and that that's the that's the failing of the human mind to think is that it has to look like us in order to count. Right. It could be a, in a gelatinous vat and be the most dangerous thing that we've ever encountered in the world. Ten times more intelligent than us. Exactly. So yeah. So no. You know what? That's F true. It. F that, it. that particle could have the tiniest, smartest brain ever. 
exactly. You know, it could be it could be smaller than a pinhead, but be a hundred times smarter than the smartest man. They often talk about like uh, the way that we're supposed to evolate. <laughs> the way evolution is going to take us is that we're going to lose a lot of the muscle mass and and grow like bigger heads and stuff to hold the brain capacity that we're feeding into ourselves. I can see that. Because if you think about like uh, I don't know creationism versus like. Uh, evolution as long as we've been on this planet man we've we've come a long way oh absolutely in a short in a short period of time yeah yeah dude we've come we have a long absolutely way. we went from not even being able to like dress ourselves yeah to like now we're like building prosthetic things fake fake penises and, and replacing like internal organs yeah we're growing organs in a dish and putting them in our body dude we went from like we didn't even have electricity and light to <laughs> we're, we're, we're 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 tweeting. We're going yeah, dude, into space. We're, yeah, we're talking to China. So yeah, it's dude, like Dude, why does this game make me lose? And it's not even like on the tech side. I mean, I was it was awesome. I sent you that one thing on the tech side about uh the the camera that you can like just flip your phone on and you can look at the camera and you can have the camera fly around your house. It's like a mini drone. Drones are just like, it's just like whatever now. Everything's a drone. Yeah, I don't want a drone camera. We talked about that, dude. <sighs> but you wanted a drone. You bought a drone. Well, it was a, it was a, it was cheap, dude. And That's you were gonna put a camera on it. I took it, it back. Cause it sucked. <laughs> that doesn't. But you were, you bought a drone. Because it only because it was cheap. I wouldn't have bought one if it wasn't. Yeah, cheap. but if I'm not if, spending money if it were a a pile of crap. I wouldn't go out and buy a pile of crap because it was cheap. Yeah, I was like, if this you thing were works, like, hey, I could, I'm really thinking about getting some crap. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> if I can find crap at a low, low price, right. I think I'm gonna get some crap just to try it out. All right. I'm exactly. Like, and I oh. didn't like the crap, and then I took it back. Dude. <laughs> you didn't like the crap because it was crap, crap. No, dude, this was. If crap you had got some good crap, you would have been like, this is awesome. If I awesome got a good crap. drone, I would have kept it and used it. It batter, its battery life was like three <laughs> minutes. I was like, what the fudge is that? Yeah, man? but if you had gotten like some really good crap, you would have been like, this is some great crap. Dude. Oh, dude, I love good crap. It would have been great. But, uh, I, those expensive drones are really nice, man. They're they're crazy. Oh, yeah, though. dude. I ain't spending much money on anything. I can break that easy, so. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. He does Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O N I G H T underscore Crate Sound Twitch.tv. Yeah. <laughs> for Jonas. It doesn't have to be coherent. TNT. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. We are out. <laughs>